All right, so Mach 3 speed training sessions, Golf Fitness, where you're gonna work with Coach Jason in a Facebook private room that you can gain for a membership, $5 a month. Try to make it very much a, not too large an expense this time, obviously, with what's going on in the world. I want this to be something very cost affordable to everybody. Stay be able to get a great amount of work on your golf swing at home, because you don't necessarily have to hit balls to do this. If you do have a net to hit balls and do, or an amazing studio or some sort, some simulator situation, that's great. You really just need to more or less be able to do the work and the exercises. The actual hitting of the balls will be necessary too if you are trying to speed check right now, but I understand not everybody's gonna be able to do that. So if you can follow along and hit balls, that would be great and most productive. You don't have to even see where the necessarily go is and you know that they're solid and the speed's going up and you're hitting them basically, in your opinion, much better, hopefully even if it is just into a net scenario. So this is gonna be a, not anything, New is gonna be the standard stuff that you would do with the Mach 3 program. A little bit of stuff that I do in stretches just to get you an introductory. I don't wanna do a full half hour session right now, but just more or less to get everybody a feel for what you're gonna be getting into. Please do make sure you understand these exercises that will include yoga, some stability exercises from P90X as well that I love. Nothing's going to be large weights. If anything, there might be five pounders, max 10 I would even suggest. For anybody that's ever doing any of the weight sessions, I'll let everybody know for the beginning part and month, probably not gonna be too much weight from day to day as much as it's gonna be you're needing your Mach 3 jet stick, our standard 34 three quarter two chain, two chain meaning there's two chains here at the bottom. There's a three chain that's heavier. We recommend for 99% of the individuals that are gonna do the Mach 3 training with us, unless you're already like a long drive champion and need a much stiffer shaft, somebody who can swing well over 116 maybe, you can get in touch with Coach Jason if you have any questions, but please go directly onto my site at www.swimplane.biz to make your purchase of the Mach 3 Jet Stick, it's $99, and then you can join along with us. If you also have an alignment stick, I like to use some speed, over speed training stuff with the alignment stick as well. I can also work out that with one of my other trainees that I have that will discuss. It's a pool noodle trainee with the alignment stick and PVC piping that does come with that alignment stick. But if you have one, great to also have during these exercises, okay? All right, let's get started with the stretches. And as before, please do check with your doctor to make sure you are physically capable to do any of these yoga stretches mobility-wise. Do what you can. Please do not go beyond your limits. Coach Jason's very flexible. So we always ask that you understand how to breathe. Do not hold your breath at certain points. It's more important to learn to breathe. When you breathe in, you can hold it for that second. And then let it out. You can hold it for that second. Breathe in, deep breaths. You always wanna learn how to make deep breaths. On the breathe in this is when you're going to get ready for the stretch. Breathing out is when you try to increase the stretch. So first we're gonna do huggers, here we go. This is when we're slapping our arms back and forth, okay? You can move back and forth. This is ballistic stretches where you're not being still, static, where this next stretch we do would be static, but ballistic stretching would be moving around a little. Huggers. Shake it out, okay? We're going to take our fists or our fingers, touch them together, then stretch them all the way down, and we're gonna to try to raise them up a little bit. Two breaths on every stretch. Just gets the back tries, pretty much a good arm stretch in general. Shake them out. Reach up with the left arm, touch the back. Right arm over that, and stretch. Two breaths. Good shoulder stretch, gets the back lats. Shake it out. All right, reach up with the right arm. Touch your back, left hand over it. Stretch, two breaths. Shake it out. Now we do the old saunter stretch where you're yawning. Clench the fists together like this, your fingers, and go straight up. Oh yeah, there it is. Now from here. We're going to gently swan dive. Breathe in, exhale out. Inhale halfway up, flat back. Inhale all the way down. You can step 
or jump back. You don't have to twist like I did, just to show you from the sideways view. Upward dog. This is my favorite golf stretch. You finish an upward dog looking like King Leonidas. Two breaths. Bring toes to the floor, butt in the air, heels on the ground, downward dog. So let's call it Cobra Vinyasa. I'd always suggest a good two, three Vinyasa a day to get started. Jump or step, your feet into your hands, whatever you can do is fine. I like to jump halfway up. Exhale all the way down. Bring yourself slowly and strongly back to prayer. Now I'm gonna stay and come back to prayer. Beautiful. That is the starter stretch. I'll add a couple more usually during the session. We'll go longer. Let's get down seated. We're gonna do leg stretches now for the back a little bit as well. Right foot in, left foot out. I don't care if you can go all the way. You can only get to here, that's fine. Point your toe at you as much you can. Don't let that knee come up. Two deep breaths. And release, okay? Right foot over. This helps keep the leg down. Makes the stretch a little tougher. Two deep breaths. Do as much as you can. Don't go for what Coach Jason can do unless you're as mobile as I am. Can't stress enough, I don't want you doing what you can't do, okay? From this position, sliding the left foot under the buttocks, just like that, you're sliding around. Right hand, going by that foot. That left arm's gonna go up in one motion, you're gonna look behind you, called spine cracker. Use that leg to stretch it. Breathe in, go for the stretch. This one's complicated, take your time. Watch me do it over and over, pause the video. You can take as much time as you like on this video. That's why you got the pause button. Two deep breaths as you do it. Right leg now goes out from that position. Same stretches, and then we're done. We're gonna do our speed check, and we're gonna do our Mach 3 tool protocol drills, and we're good to go. We're gonna be faster, better golfers, even in Armageddon. Breathe in, release. Breathe in. Release again. Bring that foot over, left foot over the thigh on that right side. Breathe in. Release. Perfect, all right, now you can slide that right foot under the buttocks. Same spine crack on the other side. Left hand goes behind you. Right arm up in that one breath, breathe in. Watch this stretch over and over. This one's very hard, but saved my career, made my lower back, lower lumbar much better, okay? Both feet out. Breathe in. Breathe in. Do what you can always, folks. Pop up. All right, here we go. So now we're gonna test our speed. Put your glove on, put your hat on, put your mitt on, whatever you gotta do. So normally, Interestingly enough, I found that indoors in my studio, the trackman reads a little slower sometimes. I'm usually averaging between 116 and 117 outdoors, and then when I speed train, I get up to 119, 120. Inside, I usually am between, right now, 111, 112, 113, and then when I speed train, I get closer to 116, 117. Maybe more, let's see. All right, so we're gonna look first to see what my averages are. Like three shots. The hips. There's the turn. Within the hips. Finish your turn. Could have finished it a little better. I'll take it. Let's see what the speed is. Speed 114. So I got the speed right up here at that top. Okay? I'm going to look at mostly the speed. The green is 300 yards. So that probably, if you actually look at my little target here, I got that set right down the middle, maybe a hair right in center, 294. So right there, if I'm at that edge, it's 300. Anything on the green would be 310 to 320 to 330 if it gets through the green. Just some people in paper are wondering how far a little guy can hit. 
All right, so 114, not bad for the first one. Tips open. Fish turn. Tips open. That's better. That's a good one. Get my hips open on that one. All right. Still feel about 114 ish. Get in the hole. Go in. Oh, come on, that'd be so cool. Please go in. Please go in. Now that's a shot to show though. What was that, two feet? That was a good one. <laughs> 114, all right. So 114, we'll do one more. Looks like the average is gonna be 114. I went about 324. Hit that one pretty good. All right. Hips open. There's the turn. Right now you should all be doing your speed check as well. So when you watch this video, if you want to put it on pause, start doing your speed check. Hip open. That hit that one pretty good too. Not crush crush, but good. Right. She went a little bit farther, looks like. A little less spin on her. A little better launch. All right. Almost 330 on that one. See the speed. 113.3, so somewhere around, we'll call it somewhere like 113.8-ish, 113.7-ish, okay? All right, so now, you got your jet speed stick. We're gonna do three of the drills, all right? First drill, I like to call it smooth out. So basically, you're grabbing your jet speed stick and you're just going to do the first swing that you do as smooth. Now my big key to the jet speed stick is to realize that there's a lot of things this thing will show you and teach and get you to feel. We'll discuss that in multiple ways in terms of how I like to use this not only for speed training, but for understanding where low point, you can hear where the ball hits the ground, other things that you can use and just feel the release in the pattern that you want and how this ball acts like a release action, kind of a medieval chain, you can just whip at somebody. <laughs> but more or less, we're gonna use this to build speed out front. Speed in your finish, Michael Romatowski loves to call it strong finish. I call it put your brakes on. How fast that handle is moving at the end of the swing into a hard stop. And each rep you do should get faster and faster. But that quick pause stop and make it the end and perfect finishes, strong finishes, slam the brakes on. That's vital in your training to keep control while gaining that speed. You're just swinging out of your shoes, falling over. Not what we're trying to get you to do here. That's working hard to go nowhere for some reason. And if you also think speed's at impact, that's another thing I want you to realize. It's working hard to go nowhere. The harder you work at impact, you're more slowing it up at impact. You getting to the end of the handle, the handle of the golf club to the end is as fast as it gets. That's where you're gonna start to realize speed is at the end. We'll use even this alignment state. Listen to where the whoosh gets loud. It's somewhere over here when I slam the brakes on. All right, so the whoosh is getting loud out front. So we're gonna work on that hold each time as we do the drills. So the first one will be a smooth out. Keep the jet speed stick in the air as you do the first one and everything after that. Smooth and then go. Each one faster and faster. Six reps in total, two more for me. One more. All right, take a break. There's gonna be a lot of people who are gonna be a little bit dizzy, tired, definitely can be tough. We're gonna turn the AC on on this. Go mode AC. That glass of water. If I didn't say for before to grab one, please do grab one now. Hit pause if you must. Probably don't have your heat on like I did right there. <laughs> Good for sweat though. Not hard to get rid of doing this. Okay, now we're gonna do one on drills. We need to get the throw going. Ah, oh, there's that AC. Right arm first, choke up. Pretty much down to the end, okay? In the air, same things. We're gonna make one arm swings, okay? Start with the first one. 
smooth. Stops at the top of that back, that follow through right here. So I pause there for about two, three seconds before I continue into the next rep. Each one quicker than the last one. Left hand behind the back as you do it. Good balance in that finish. One more. Now we did the right, take your stop. One of the things we preach is a tired golfer is not a faster golfer. We want you to take those breaks. But Coach Jason does want you to get in shape too. So I want this to be a little bit of a cardio routine, a little bit of sweat. There are gonna be days where I'm gonna be switching this in and out with push-ups, I'm gonna be switching this in and out with Pilates, I'm gonna be switching this out with some weight routines. We're gonna make this definitely stability and mobility to help players of all levels, okay? Yeah, I get it. Big like coach too, even though I'm a little guy, still gotta get strong to get speed, definitely, but the jet speed stick will give it to you instantly by changing your intentions. Okay, perfect. Let's get a little drink of water real quick. Do the last drill I want. All right. Back and forth stops. We're gonna choke up on the handle again, not only at the end of the grip, but choke down to almost the metal. You're going back and forth really hard in stopping fashion. What I like to call slamming the brakes on on each side, okay? Here we go. We're going to do about six, all right? Start here. And hold that last one. So my hand is counting out to that six. Go ahead and try and do it on your own, okay? Last one exercise. I'll grab a drink of water. After you're done, grab your water. We're going to go through all outs. So you start with full swing all out and just try to make each one faster. Remember that pause, that putting the brakes on, so you really get a sense of how to control speed at the finish of your golf swing. Are you ready? All out speed. Three more. Try not to hit the ground with the ball if you can, but let it graze gently. All right. Do your six. Get pumped. Now when you're ready, you're gonna hit some shots. I want you to grab your breath, grab your water. up a little, your body should be a little more warm up to swing out of its shoes now. <laughs> Under control with that strong finish. All right, so we're at 114, so we're for anything over 150 would be great. There you go, way faster. Let's do that one more time. You might need a couple of shots. I'm gonna rebound back just to get your body used to that acclimated new speed. Hips, finish the turn. Oh yeah. oh yeah. I murdered that one. Alright, let's see if the speed's up. She's the farthest shot I hit yet. About six, seven yards. Ooh, 113. Not up yet. Okay. Distance went up. That's always a plus. We look at this as twofold. We want distance improvement and we want speed improvement. about the same. Let's see what the speed was. 116.5. There we go. Now we're talking. That's big at my level. 
Alright, at the carry 297. Ah. <laughs> one more. We'll say that was the one. Open the hips. And it's the turn. Some of the misses, even coaching on a miss or two. That didn't even show the speed, so I gotta do it again. Not a bad miss going 280 down the middle. Open the hips. There's the turn. Crush like those first two, but that's still better than any of the ones I hit earlier. But that's 114, maybe 115. 115, all right, all right, speed's up. Let's do one more, just to kind of get a proof of concept. So I end up going up two miles per hour so far, a little bit over that. Open the hips, finish the turn. Hips. Finish your turn. Could have finished my turn a hair better there. That's why she got a little left on me, but I'll take it. I was hit solid. Let's see what the speed was. I think that was still 115, 116. 116, six. Let's see if I get just a little more. I feel like I a little quicker on that one. Now, now I feel some real speed. I'll break out the alignment stick. Same drills, this is a lot lighter. So I'm gonna do all outs. Go. Still using my swing thought. Open the hips. Finish your turn. Open your hips. Finish your turn. That last one felt fast. All right. Quick drink of water. I'm gonna go over these last couple and we're good. And this will be a great good sneak peek in a while. Good chunk of what I'm gonna do in a session, maybe with some less trying to get you to understand what it's all about and more getting right to work. Hips open. Finish your turn. Alright, let's see if I can crack 117. Hips open. Oh, I hit that one solid. Come on, baby. B117. Got the face open a hair. That thing carried though. What was the speed? 118. Mm, one more. There we go. Mach 3, baby. Romantowski, young. Whole team over there. Texas alone. Hope you guys are doing right in Texas. Man, could I use a steak right now? Some long. <laughs> we can stay guys in Texas right now. All right. Let's see if I can do one better than that 118. Open the hips. Oh, I got that one. That's what I'm landing on. That's the one. Oh, I can't believe I faded a little again. I murdered that though. So what am I at? 116 five. All right. So I gained a good three mile per hour easily, I think everybody saw, through speed training from where I started the day to where I ended up on the day. And for the moment, I countered 303. And I kept my path skills, my path changed a little bit. It tends to when I swing a little too hard, lose control of my draw pattern. So I tend to not try to go full full if I don't need to, so that if I have a wide open hole where a little fade wouldn't kill me one way or the other, sure. Depends, right? It always depends on the scenario. Ideally, I'd love to see my nice little draw. Anything straight is pretty darn good, and that far, I think I'd be pretty happy being on the last one, probably going like 330, 340. 
So hope you're all excited. Please reach out to me if you have any questions on Mach 3 and how to get faster, stronger, hit the balls like a monster, as a little midget as myself is. And everybody staying safe. And good luck, everybody. Take care.